Will Bitcoin become millennial gold? Bitcoin drops to three month low. Bitcoin is an incredibly dirty business. Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Bitcoin is one of the most controversial digital technologies of our time. How it started. I don't own any Bitcoin. Bitcoin is worthless artificial gold. How it's going. Bitcoin's been out there a long time. In just over five minutes, you'll know everything you need to know. People have made fortunes out of Bitcoin. Some people have lost money out of Bitcoin. The story starts with a name. Satoshi Nakamoto invented Bitcoin in 2007. However, no one knows who Satoshi Nakamoto is. Experts say that Nakamoto is in fact a pseudonym and may be more than one person. Many names have been dropped as Bitcoin's potential creators, but none have been proven, so it remains a mystery. The domain name Bitcoin.org was registered on August 18, 2008. Not even half a year later, the Bitcoin network was created. Did you know that the first real-world transaction using Bitcoin took place in 2010? Programmer Laszlo Hanyech offered to pay 10,000 Bitcoins for two large Papa John's pizzas, at the time worth around 30 US dollars. If he would have held on to them, he could have made at one point as much as 100 million dollars. At least he made history. So what is Bitcoin anyways? Well, it's a type of money that's completely virtual. It's like an online version of cash. You can use it to buy products and services. It's produced in a digital process called mining. More on that later. Each Bitcoin is basically a computer file which is stored in a digital wallet app on a smartphone or computer. People can send Bitcoins or part of one to you and you can send Bitcoins to other people. Every single transaction is recorded in a public list called the blockchain. This makes it possible to trace the history of Bitcoins to stop people from spending coins they do not own, making copies or undoing transactions. So far, not many shops in the real world accept Bitcoin yet, and some countries have banned it altogether. However, some companies are beginning to buy into its growing influence. In October 2020, the online payment service PayPal announced that it would be allowing its customers to buy and sell Bitcoin. Since it was created, Bitcoin has experienced significant highs and lows. In 2020 alone, the currency rose over 400%. On the other hand, the price of Bitcoin fell below 35,000 US dollars for the first time in three months after China imposed fresh curbs on cryptocurrencies. Someone who's caused both peaks and lows for the cryptocurrency is none other than Elon Musk. When the richest person in the world gives his support to a virtual currency, you know it's big business. In the beginning of 2021, Musk said he was a big fan of Bitcoin. He's repeatedly shown his support to online currencies and caused major movements in their values, like earlier this year, when his company Tesla announced that it would start accepting Bitcoin as a payment. But then on May 13th, Musk shocked Bitcoin owners worldwide when he announced that Tesla had suspended vehicle purchases using the cryptocurrency, which made Bitcoin's market value plummet by more than 10%. The reason Musk and Tesla gave for opting out of Bitcoin transactions for now is the cryptocurrency's biggest criticism. The process of creating Bitcoin, known as mining, needs enormous computing power. Very simply put, Bitcoin mining is the process of creating new Bitcoin by using high-powered computers to compete against each other to solve complex mathematical puzzles. That means it requires a lot of data centers which use a lot of electricity. That's why a lot of experts say it's an extremely inefficient way of conducting transactions. Researchers found that more than 75% of Bitcoin mining happens in China and two-thirds of China's electricity comes from coal. That means the electricity that produces Bitcoin mostly comes from one of the most polluting energy sources. A Bank of America report found over the past two years, the historic rise of Bitcoin has caused emissions to increase by over 40 million tons, equivalent to 8.9 million cars added to the road. If that's not proof enough, consider this. Mining the currency emits more CO2 than the whole country of Greece. And that could get worse. What do you think? Is Bitcoin the future? 
Are other cryptocurrencies better or is it doomed? And what will Elon Musk do next? Let us know in the comments. Seriously, we have to know what's going on.